It is August of 2024 and TrueNAS Core 13.3 has been essentially released, but you have to load it as a patch. It's not going to show up automatically, but is it time to update or is it time to move? Let's talk about your options and let's get started. Are you an individual or forward-thinking business seeking expert assistance with network engineering, storage, or virtualization projects? Maybe you're part of an internal IT team that needs to proactively manage, monitor, and secure your technology. We offer comprehensive consulting services tailored to meet your specific requirements. Whether you need fully managed or co-managed IT services, our team is ready to help you. We specialize in supporting businesses that require IT administration or teams seeking an extra layer of support to enhance their operations. Our install team is ready to assist you with all of your structure cabling and Wi-Fi planning needs as well. To learn more about any of our services, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out the Hire Us form, and let us start crafting the perfect IT solution for you. If you want to show some extra love for our channel, check out our swag store with shirts, hats, dust accessories, and more. We also have affiliate links down below that will get you discounts and deals on products and services we talk about on this channel. With the ad read out of the way, let's get you back to the content that you came here for. Now here's the August 2024 announcement for TrueNAS Core 13.3, but this isn't for everyone. The 13.3 release is intended solely for community users looking for incremental fixes specific to FreeBSD 13.3, Jails, Beehive, OpenZFS, and Samba. If we go down here and we notice that the 13.0 U6.2, which is current, it is going to be supported with security fixes and hot fixes and resolutions for any newly discovered major bugs, which means if I go over here to my TrueNAS core system and I hit check for updates, it's not going to want to automatically update. It stopped right here at 13.0 and doesn't have an option for 13.3. You can install it as a manual update or you could upgrade to TrueNAS scale Dragonfish. And that's what I want to talk about. Is it time to upgrade to Dragonfish? And if you don't have legacy encrypted pools, it's probably time to upgrade, if not now, soon when Electric Eel comes out. Now, the reason I said Electric Eel, because that'll be version 24.10, targeted to release at the end of October 2024. I usually say the end because I've never seen them release it too much earlier before the end on a target. And maybe once in a while they'll slide into November if there's some bugs they're still fixing. But either way, I have done some beta testing with the Electric Eel and it's really nice. Electric Eel is the first version. It's going to be all Docker supported and they're not going to need all the extra Kubernetes things on the back end of it. So I think that's definitely a good path forward. That being said, do you have to upgrade? Well, as I noted, it's still supported. And if you're happy with the system as it is, it ain't broke, don't fix it. I think that's perfectly fine, but you are not getting any more feature updates. And maybe when you wait for a hardware refresh, it's time to replace. And that's mostly what we're doing for our business clients because we've sold a lot of core systems to a lot of businesses. And when the hardware refresh comes up, we will then go ahead and replace them with scale. We've already sold scale systems to newer clients because that's the best option today if you're getting a new NAS and putting it together with TrueNAS. I want to talk a little bit about what's happening on the back end and why, because I've seen a lot of people have a lot of controversy or confusion around it, and it just comes down to a lack of development in the BSD community. Uh, jails have been around a long time. I think they're awesome. They're amazing. And if you want to call it a popularity contest between FreeBSD jails and Docker containers and that containerization platform, I'm going to say Docker's really one. There are way, way more applications, way more developers supporting those applications, and it's not trivial. BSD cannot just be bolted on with Docker. It's a kernel level implementation. That's why they made the move to Linux. That move was particularly painful in the beginning, uh, all the way in 2021 when the beta is released, and it's gotten substantially better here in 2024. They're putting all their effort to it, them being IX systems, and uh, I think it's a good thing. I seen people suggesting they fork and start their own version of TrueNAS Core, and there's nothing really stopping it from doing that other than forking it doesn't magically make a bunch of developers fall from the sky and start writing code. The reality is we have kind of a deficit here in the open source community as a whole where we don't have enough developers. And, you know, as much as uh, he was not a big fan of Linux, he was right when Steve Ballmer yelled, developers, developers, developers. We need them. That's what's going to keep the project moving forward. IX Systems is a business who sells hardware. We are a partner with IX Systems. That hardware funds the development of TrueNAS that they completely give away. And uh, I don't think there's enough funds in the buckets to keep putting all the features into the FreeBSD TrueNAS core bucket and the 
TrueNAS scale Linux bucket. So that's kind of how I feel where the status is today. But it's not bad. I really think that they've made a stable product. I'm really happy where TrueNAS scale is today. I'm really excited about Electric Eel because I was never a fan of the way they did it. I've talked about the breakage that has occurred many times with some of the Kubernetes updates between versions or just when applications went awry inside of scale. Once they move to Docker, I think this is going to be a pretty solved problem because Docker is much more well documented, much more popular. And you don't have the extra complexity that come with Kubernetes. But what do you think? Leave your thoughts and comments down below. Like and subscribe to see more content from the channel. If you have a more engaging discussion on this and other topics, head over to my forums, forums.learnsystems.com. And uh, I'll see you over there. Thanks.